We are back, um, as promised. This is Anthony Graves, a marketing director for HSM Works. We are live from the PRI uh, Performance Racing Industry Trade Show here at the Orlando Convention Center. I am joined by two special guests. Uh, our first guest um, in the red shirt, in the red corner, is Frank Lucier, who is our, uh, who's the driver and owner of the number eight uh, NFS Engineering uh, HSM Works Dodge Viper Competition Coupe, who is going to be racing in. Uh, the series that is represented by my other guest, Tom Dewar? Drewer. Drewer. Yes, sir. Tom Drewer from uh, the USGT Championship and NARA, uh, North American, what is it, Road Racing? Road Racing Association. Association. Awesome group of individuals. I met, um, met Tom, your counterpart, the CEO of NARA, yesterday. Awesome guy, high energy. And we're really excited to be working uh, with Frank and with you guys because... Um, you know, our whole focus is performance, and it was a natural fit. Uh, Frank's background was um, CAD CAM for years and years and years, machining and manufacturing. There's a natural synergy between machining and racing. I mean, that's, if it wasn't for machines, none of these cars would be sitting here. Um, and so we thought it was a perfect fit to do the PRI show and do our announcement about HSM Express and stuff like that. But I wanted you guys to um, come in and talk about racing because there are a lot of people in the in the, the community um, and Frank can talk a little bit about the engineering side of things but I want you to talk about the organizational side of things you have a ton of exciting things happening so um, Tom first tell our, our viewers and listeners um, a little bit about NARA and the USGT championship and who races in it and, and all that stuff because it's really cool well I guess the the USGT championship uh, and NARA and indeed the USGT Championship sister series, the Wayland Time Trial Championship, really has become the new home for high-end, high-performance cars. Uh, we, we really encompass a great uh, host of manufacturers, uh, Ferrari, Porsche, BMW, uh, Viper, and of course Corvette, their arch rival. And uh, really uh, uh, the type of people that come and race in this series uh, uh, amateurs and grassroots racers right up to top professional drivers such as Eric Curran, uh, James Boucher who's uh, either leading or was second in the truck championship points last time I checked. Um, we have uh, a whole host of celebrities that usually turn up to our meetings. Our events run in conjunction with the Dodge Viper Cup and so a full, fully tev televised pro series. So really, we, we are, you know, a, a new and exciting uh, series in America. That's awesome. And when you guys were talking about it yesterday, when I found out, um, I mean, Frank has known us at HSM Works for years and years and years. Um, we've worked together. Um, and when he started talking about this new series and in your organization from last year, he was involved with you guys um, in a different series. It, it, it was awesome, and we were excited to meet you guys um, precisely because, like you said, I mean, it's the high end of the high end races in this series. I mean, you have pros, you have pro amateurs, you have you have the best of the best, um, no matter what they're driving. Um, and I like that you were talking about the Dodge Viper um, Corvette, you know, uh, uh, battles, and, and that's pretty cool. Um, and, and it's funny because we've had a lot of guys come by and talk about Frank's car, and they're like, Man, that is an awesome car. Too bad it's not a vet. <laughs> so, you know, but it's pretty cool. He's still getting compliments on a, on a Viper from a vet guy. is is pretty impressive. I wanted to ask um, Frank. Uh, a lot of people don't realize uh, how much engineering goes into these race cars, like the V10 engines for the Vipers and and all the components and all the aftermarket components you see here at the PRI trade show. Um, how how significant? Of a of a part, do you see like high performance machining and high speed cam playing in you know the more successful race teams that are out there, even pro teams? Obviously, Anthony, um, for these cars to um, compete, a big thing is consistency and performance. Right. So being able to design, develop, manufacture something that's very reliable, consistent, robust. Um, that's where we're always demanding the best and that's where you get the the edge um, and we're always looking for the competitive edge to keep above um, 
everybody else in the right. series. Well, and one thing too, and I'd like you to mention this because you you obviously you've raced many different cars and and you've sort of found a home with the Viper and the Dodge folks have been great and the Marpo the Mar Mopar folks have been great. Um, and one of the things you mentioned to me was about the reliability of the Viper platform for you racing, and that's why you love it, and, and you actually own a street Viper as well to, to, to get more uh, you know, wheel time. Um, talk a little bit about your experience with the Dodge Viper and, and why you like it so much. Uh, first of all is that the great V10 engine. Um, mm -hmm. First of all, I demand, I, I love horsepower and right. uh, torque. So sure. it starts right there from the front, and then from there you need to be able to apply that power in performance to the ground. Right. So the big difference what I found, um, where I found a home with the Viper is because the robustness, um, the way everything is designed and built in this car is um, seems to be much stronger and well engineered. Um, the support we get from Dodge in the series, and also they they participate at the track and in this series are very much involved and take that feedback and they look at what's going on and they keep going back and, and making everything better and stronger. Sure. And and that's cool because um, one of the things with the series, I, I know it's it's not just the car too, but it's the series, the USGT series that you um, you know, you're always raving about the guys and the other drivers. Talk about Tom uh, some of the drivers that that race um, and have raced with you guys and that are going to be racing in this upcoming season well we have uh, we've actually had a factory team from Dodge Motorsports compete earlier in the year testing some of their new development cars mm -hmm. uh, Kuno Whitner who's a well-renowned uh, Canadian driver has been uh, steering that car oh, wow. uh, cool. Eric Curran, Sonny Whalen, George Whalen mm -hmm. and uh, the entire team from Marsh Racing, mm. Whalen Engineering, that also run in uh, the popular Grand Am series right. and uh, World Challenge series, they've they've been on board for most of our races this year. Um, we have a whole host of top professional drivers coming in, uh, sometimes coaching other drivers uh, uh, like Frank uh, in the series as well. Sure. But, um, but uh, no, look, this series and, and indeed the sister time trial series really does surround itself with uh, top precision engineering from right. uh, some of the best uh, performance tuning houses in the country, uh, Corvette specialists like MTI Racing, um, uh, Dodge specialists uh, such as Archer Racing Accessories. Oh yeah, Archer, absolutely. And, uh, and so really the, the in total environment I think is a very exciting one for uh, a company like HSM Works. Sure. Um, Archer from Archer Racing. What's his first name? John. John. John Archer. He came by the booth and hung out yesterday along with uh, Tom uh, Antonelli, uh, CEO of NARA and the USGT Championship. Um, and a uh, great guy from Minnesota. We were all talking about how nice the weather is down here in Florida. And um, it's cool. Now, we talked about speaking about Florida and the nice weather. I mean, you guys, this series is all over the country at some of the top tracks. Tell, tell the viewers and, and, and for the listeners, what are some of the tracks you guys are going to be hitting next season? Well, we're actually starting out in Arizona, which should be some lovely weather in March. But then we're off to Road Atlanta. Uh, we're also at uh, Road America for the first time next year. Oh, cool. Um, awesome. We're back at uh, New Jersey Motorsport Park, VIR, Virginia International Raceway, yeah. which uh, is just a phenomenal circuit. Uh, we're, we're also, for the first time, going to Monticello hmm. uh, Motor Club up in New York. Uh, we're, we're actually uh, going to Texas World Speedway um, later on in the year. And for the first time, heading off to uh, Watkins Glen, oh, Watkins which Glen, should be okay. a phenomenal way to end the season wow. uh, for our final weekend. I hope I haven't missed anyone there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. And Frank, for for our for our viewers and, and listeners, I mean, Frank's raced Ducatis. I mean, he's raced everything. And and a funny comment, going back to the Viper real quick was um, he had gone out to a track. I'm not going to say what he was driving because Frank has, 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 has a lot of cars and has owned a lot of different cars. And he was out racing. He, he was in a car that wasn't quite as high performance as the Viper. And I said, well, what was it like? And he said, man, he said, after the first turn, he said, I could have made a cheese sandwich. 
and eating it while I was driving around the track. And that talks about the level because Frank, we've watched Frank grow from from uh, I mean racing Ducatis and snowmobiles. I mean, there's nothing this guy doesn't doesn't race um, and and win at because for for our viewers and listeners, Frank was a 2010 Rookie of the Year um, in his ACR Viper. And he was also the champion of the series as well, his first year. So that, I mean, that's very impressive. And he just won a, a celebrity uh, race, um, came in first place in a celebrity race, I think, uh, in, in uh, 2011. Was, or was it 2011? It's Sebring. It's Sebring, yeah. At the ACRX uh, race at the beginning of this that's season. That's awesome. So, um, so, I mean, it's exciting to work with Frank. It's exciting to work with you guys and be partners indirectly with you guys um, through Frank and, 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 uh, and his team. So, uh, you know, we're, we're excited about next season. Um, I just yeah. wanted to sort of add, I mean, I think that's what's exciting about what NARA has to offer. Um, people like Frank who might get into motorsport a little bit later in life, uh, you know, decide they've now got the time and the, the, uh, the real drive and, and, of course, that finance to go and, and, and play with their, their toys can come to a, a NARA and uh, start off doing track days with us, learn the, learn the lines, learn the skills they need in our US Performance Driver Education Program, and then apply that, move up to the time trial championship, and if they want to go to the full-blown wheel-to-wheel racing, uh, right. like Frank is doing now in the US GT Championship, I mean, we really do offer a great uh, uh, stepping stone and, and platform sure. to people to come up. Sure. Well... Um, we're going to close out the interview. Before we do that, I want you to give your information, but also people are going to be able to check Frank's race team out at nfseng.com. That's www.nfseng.com. It's, it's, it's um, hidden for now, sort of like our HSM Express before today. Um, you're going to be able to go online there and check it out. But uh, give the folks, uh, how can they find out more about USGT and the championship and NARA? Certainly. Look, I think the best thing today for people, if, if people are... Uh tracking cars or thinking about taking their high performance road car out for a spin at a at a, one of the great circuits around this country uh, if they check out our facebook page facebook slash uh, nara online they can actually sign up and and go in the draw to win a free entry oh wow to to uh either the time trial the gt championship or our performance driver education program hmm, that's cool. um, to the end of the month, but uh, for any other information, naraonline.com. So N A R R A online.com. Tom, say hi to Tom Antonelli for us, uh, CEO. Will do. And uh, Frank, thanks for being here with us. Thanks for letting us uh, showcase the uh, NFS Engineering HSM Works Dodge Viper. It is awesome. I have never seen so many people taking pictures of a car in my life. I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome, and it's going to be exciting to see on television. Uh, in, in 2012. So thanks so much. Absolutely. Well, we're just uh, very thankful to have HSM Works a part of uh, the USGT Championship for next year. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to showcasing uh, the Frank's car on uh, Go Racing TV and, uh, and Tough TV next year. Do you have anything? Thank you, Anthony. Thanks for having me here.